Okay, what do you call a duck that steals? Slope is easy and fun. It's just rise over run. So when we're talking about slope here, the easiest way to begin is what we're going to do is we find two points on the line we need to determine the slope for. And on this one, they give them to us. I got A and B here. On those two points, draw a right triangle. And you can draw it up, you can draw it down, doesn't matter. The next thing you look at, excuse us, the next thing you look at is whether you're going uphill or downhill. On number one, are we walking uphill or downhill? Uphill. uphill. So our answer is going to be <coughs> positive. Okay? Then we count boxes. One, two, three. Cool. How far up? One, two, three, four. Then we remember, slope is easy and fun. It's just rise over run. How far did we go up? Four. How far did we go over? Three. Three. And that's our slope. Slope is easy and fun. It's just rise over run. Always leave it as an improper fraction. We do not turn slope into mixed numbers. That's it. Draw a right angle. Draw a right triangle and you're done. Does that make it easy? Yeah, if you don't take the time to draw the right triangle, sometimes you're missing out what you're counting. And until you get really good at it, the right triangle really helps. Now the bottom half of this assignment is exactly what we were doing with the slope formula. Okay. So if you look at, we're doing slope, we're doing the, down here, we're doing m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So let's look at 15 because it's handy. Okay, here's our point 2, right? m equals, and m stands for slope, don't ask me why. So we've got 0 over negative 2, and then we've got negative 8 over negative 4, and we're going to subtract them. These are both negative, so I'm going to subtract them so I turn them into positives. So we get m equals 8 over 2. So what's our slope on this one? 8 over 2 equals 4. And there it is. Questions? Pretty clear? Yeah. Good.